Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now you may heard about this new UI which works with uh, React and I have asked you on Twitter what you prefer, Laravel with Inertia and Vue.js or Laravel with Inertia and React or Laravel with Livewire and 60% of you like the Laravel with Livewire which is okay because Livewire is done only with PHP so you don't need to know uh, React or Vue. But with uh, React or Vue, you may benefit from uh, some packages like this one, which is a modern and beautiful UI. Also, ShotCN and so on. And in this video now, I want to show you how to create a Laravel project with uh, Inertia and React and install this and use uh, some components from this UI package. Okay, so I'm going to open the terminal. So open the terminal here. And we need to zoom it. I'm going to see the, the herd directory and here, let's say Laravel new. Laravel new. And I'm going to name it uh, Inertia with React. Hit enter, choose the Laravel breeze and React with Inertia. So let's add dark mode and also TypeScript now here then let's go to components and see some components so for example let's uh, scroll down and yeah here we have this card if i click this one okay now here is the card if we right now it's not looking very good but if we hover it we have a beautiful animation here okay we need to install dependencies so install framer motion clsx and tilewind merge and then we need to add util file. So this one, import class value and CLSX from a CLSX and tile in merge and then export function CN. And then here we have the text band that I'm going to select SQLite here and we need to create a component. So inside the components UI, for example, but you can add where you like and just copy this and paste there, okay? Now let's see the, the inertia dash react and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to clean this and I'm going to open this with a VS Code. Just let me zoom it like this and also like this. Now we need to go, so let's open here. So we need to copy this command and install on the terminal first. So npm install framer motion and so on. Then we need to add util file. So I'm going to copy this and let's go to resources. In my case, in our case, if you have a Laravel with inertia, JS, and here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it utils and here a new file cn.ts. Hit enter and here now paste that code here. Let's save and let's close. So we created this one. Then we need to create the component. So let's, I'm going to copy also here the name. And we have components directory. So let's just say a new file and I'm going to paste that in. Hit enter. And here we have. Then let's copy the code inside and I'm going to paste it. And let's save also this one. And I think we are okay. Let's see the code. And what we need to do is to add this div in our welcome uh, page. So I'm going to copy that and let's open here first the inertia dash react.test. And we have here the Laravel project now. Let's go, let's close this first and let's go to pages and we have the welcome.tsx and here I'm going to close this and remove what we have inside this div. Okay, also we can remove everything here. 
and I'm going to remove also this one. I'm going to add a div with the class to be max with uh, 7xl and so on, like this, and then paste the code we have copied and also close the div with the save. Now, yeah, we need to import the icon and the card. So let's go here and copy this one. And paste it right here. Now, we don't have in the slash UI directory because we are on the welcome, which is inside the pages. But we need to go up, then the components, and then UI. And we have the UI here, so let's move that components. Okay. And then here, I'm going to say go up the components slash UI slash and the card here. Now we are okay, let's save. Let's close this and I think let's see if we don't have any underline error, no error. Let's open and let's uh, also we need to run the npm run dev here. So let's say npm run dev. Okay, so here we have the card, and if we hover it, yeah, it's going to look like this. Okay, uh, maybe to zoom it a little bit like this. Okay, good. Let's go and see another uh, card, another component. So we let's see what we can add. We added the card here, background. Yeah, this one. I'm going to click to this one, and yeah. If we hover it, as you can see, we have this animation. What we can do is to install the framework motion, which we have done now. Also, this cnts file we have created. We need only to create a new component. And I'm going to copy this name. Go inside the components, UI. And here I'm going to create a new file, paste that name, hit enter, and then let's copy the code and paste it. I think we don't have any error, no error. So let's save this and then what we need to do is go to code and I'm going to copy this. Okay, let's copy, go to welcome, and here we have this uh, max width. I'm going to add here a margin top to be 6. Okay, and then here we have the card and let's paste it right here. Also, we need to import all of them. So let's say import from, so I'll go up one, components, UI, slash, and this component save and let's see yeah here you have now the card and if we hover it yeah the stars is going to show up then it's going to hide if we hover it's going to show up okay friends that's it all about this video how to integrate this uh, react ui with uh, laravel and inertia using react now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.